Hey everyone, Ben with Greenfeet Medical. Today we're going to go over the SAM Junctional Tourniquet and the Compression Works Abdominal Aortic Junctional Tourniquet Stabilized. So, the AAJT comes pre-assembled, the SJT requires some assembly. The AAJT fits circumferences from 10 inches up to 72 inches and can be applied to children, whereas the SJT is 32 inches to 55 inches, not supposed to be applied to children, so smaller range there. The AAJT can go on the axilla, so in the armpit area up in here, the abdomen, the groin, and the pelvis for stabilization of a broken pelvis, whereas the SJT is for the axilla and groin only. The AAJT requires 250 millimeters of mercury to stop a bleed, whereas the SJT is 700 millimeters of mercury. All that is is a unit of measure for pressure. So this one requires roughly three times more pressure, just under, as opposed to the AAJT to stop a bleed. All right, a quick walk through the AAJTS application to the groin and my first impressions here. So we're gonna take this guy, you're going to take this piece, slide it under the small of the back, if there's any space there. And then what I do is work this down below the buttock, right there. Then I'd position this guy, slide red to red. All right, that's in place. Then you want to pull out all the slack from that side right here. When you do that, this piece needs to be slid down, kind of shoved under. It's a little long. I'm not sure how I feel about that. And this piece likes to come out as well. So really positioning these is kind of important here. Once you do that, you're gonna pull out all the excess slack with this piece right here. All right, once that's done, you're gonna grab the ratcheting strap here and tighten. Just like a tourniquet, good initial tightness is super important. All right, that feels pretty taut. Then you're gonna grab your inflation device, make sure it's tightened. Tighten down to the right here. You're gonna watch this inflation piece and you're just gonna pump this. It's gonna inflate the bag. And there's gonna be a green spot. It's gonna take a little bit. Mason, how comfortable is this? It's not. It's not, okay, yeah, well, sorry bud. And power through it. There you go. Green showing. Very uncomfortable. You can see it fully inflated. Does that feel like it's stopping the bleeding? Yeah. Okay. Then make sure you secure your tails for transport. Up next is the SAM junctional tourniquet or the SJT. It comes in this pouch. You're going to open that pouch up. Now there's a, little, a lot of little pieces that come with it. For the groin application, you're not going to be using this piece unless you had a bilateral. You'd use it without this. This is meant for the axilla, uh, but this is the target compression device. They call it the TCD is that their nomenclature is. That would be a velcroed onto another part. But you're going to pull this guy out here. And I said minor assembly has a few pieces, nothing too crazy. But then you're going to open this guy up and get this ready for application. So that's, this is an arm strap for the axilla. We're not going to be using that today. And this one, so you're going to have this guy opened up here. Now what you're going to do is slide this under the small of the back. It's a little bigger buckle, so let's get that guy slid down. All right. And then position that over the artery right there. And we'll do here. Let's open this guy up. Clip it in. You're going to grab both brown handles. And then you're going to pull until you have this Sam. They love doing this with their belts, so they click. So pull them both. There you go. It's locked in. The teeth have come out. Lock that into place. Then you're gonna grab this guy, screw it on, tighten it down, and then inflate. Mason, how does that feel? Uh, it's not great. Not great either. Well, both of them don't feel great. So this one's a little faster on the inflation, but it has to have a much smaller uh, target location you have to be aiming for. Right, as you can see, this is the difference in application of the two devices. Initial impressions. So after applying both of them, uh, I gotta say I think both of them, if used properly, would work on a groin to stop an arterial bleed. But I will say that the target compression device for the SAM it still has a lot smaller surface area, so that's going to be a lot more difficult to, to be a little more precise with your anatomy there, uh, and it hopefully doesn't get jostled around. I also don't like with the SAM personally that it comes with a bunch of different pieces they have to attach or possibly lose in your kit. Um, so. Just a small thing there, but something to note uh, on it. 
I do like the AAJTS, the size of this wedge. Uh, it leaves a lot more room for error, especially in a field setting to apply this. Uh, I like that it all comes in one single package and it requires a little less pressure to apply because of the ratcheting system and how it works. Uh, I will say that one thing I'm not a huge fan of is the size of these wings right here, uh, especially with this piece right here. As you apply it, it oftentimes, as I've applied it, will get bunched up. I'm not sure if that affects the application as a whole, but I do notice that it's something I am trying to fight as I apply it uh, as one small nitpick on this guy. But overall, both devices, you can see, are applied. You make your own decision on that. And stay tuned for an Axla application in the next video.